better? Yeah. So the training that we came here to do was uh, essentially to recertify uh, for our NREMT. Um, uh, but that was the first week of this training, and then the second week of this training was to uh, accrue additional hours and then go in depth into some more of our specialized skills as medics. We don't always get to get this hands-on training that is kind of separated from all the other day-to-day uh, -day tasks. So it's good to get out here, get good hands-on training, uh, get good tactical training. This particular training that they put on, uh, I've noticed over the last couple of years that I've been uh, stationed at Schofield, they've added a lot of uh, more in-depth classes and more advanced uh, medical training uh, like chest tubes and things like that, suturing. Uh, so actually it was a good, uh, a good way to expose some of our younger medics and even some of our more experienced medics into things that we don't normally get to do. Our desired effect for our medics is so that they're better prepared when they actually take a casualty and they don't see a casualty for the first time and freeze. We try to put them under duress so that when they take their casualties, they'll be better prepared and so that they can take their training back to their units and better prepare their soldiers as well. COVID-19 definitely affected our training. We did have to halt training for a little while and uh, push our medics back to the unit, but we were able to overcome that by doing social distancing, cutting our class side down from 30 personnel to six personnel at first, and then we upped it to 10 personnel because we do have a large area out here at the Mystic, and we also put hand sanitizer out, hand washing stations, and we're just lucky enough to be able to have the space to conduct our training and also do pre-screenings because we have medical personnel to make sure nobody had symptoms.